Sometimes I find it very interesting that the Gospel of John does not say anything about Christmas. But ironically, there was one man who could have actually written a very detailed account of Jesus' birth, then it was John. Why do I feel so? Because we know that when Jesus was up on the cross, he looked at John and said that Mary will be a mother to you. And to Mary, likewise, he said that John will be your son. So in that case, we have good reasons to believe that after Jesus' time, John had a very good rapport with Mary and through Mary should have, you know, learned all the details about his birth and about Jesus' childhood. In fact, historians and theologians still make mere speculations about Jesus' childhood. In fact, it's called the silent years of Christ's life. But despite having all those details, John refuses to write anything of the Christmas or about his birth in his gospel. While the synoptic gospels, Matthew and Luke, begin by writing about Christ's humanity, notice that John begins by writing about his divinity. He does not begin by writing about Christ in the manger with Mary and Joseph, but he begins by writing, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God and the Word was God. He in the beginning was with God. While Luke and Matthew begin by pointing to an infant Jesus in Mary's bosom, you know what John writes in 1 verse 18, he says he was in the bosom of the Father God and he who was in the bosom of the Father God, he has made him known. He begins by writing about Christ's divinity. But although John does not describe his birth, you know, the purpose of Jesus' birth is very clearly stated in this very gospel. And it's stated through Christ's own words. Where you may ask, well, if you go to the very climax of the story, it's the final showdown and all things are converging to where it should finally converge to the cross. And Jesus is standing before the Roman governor Pontius Pilate. And in this graphic conversation in John chapter 18, Jesus reveals the purpose of Christmas. You know, this conversation is very interesting. At first, you see that Pilate is very indifferent to this bound and seemingly helpless man who has been brought to him. So he tells the Jews, hey, you guys go and judge him, use your own law and you make your judgment. But in the verses that follow, you will see that there is an attitude shift. Pilate's attitude moves from a kind of indifference to a kind of awe. Because Jesus scales up that conversation. I love that conversation. Pilate asks him, are you a king? Jesus acknowledges his, his authority. And now the conversation has been scaled up for it's between one authority and another. And Jesus tells him that my kingdom is not of this world. For if it were of this world, my servants would have been fighting and I would not be delivered over to the Jews. In other words, Mr. Governor, I wouldn't be standing before you like a lamb to the slaughter, a helpless man. But why am I in this position? Why am I here? Look at the next verse. Now pay attention. Jesus says, for this very purpose, I was born. And for this very purpose, I came into this world to bear witness to the truth. For this very purpose I was born, but my birth in the manger, that is not my beginning. As John chapter 1 says, in the beginning I was already there. And he says, for this very purpose I was born, and for this very purpose I came, I came into this world. You know, his birth is significant only because his death is significant, because that was the purpose of Christmas. Christmas minus the cross is merely just another day and marks just another insignificant birth in history.